Hello once more, my name is Frank. I'm here to talk the Word of God frankly. The question today is, is Jesus God? Don't be upset, rather take your notes and read by yourself. I'm not here to tell you what to believe or what not to believe. I'm just saying what is written by faith. Because the Bible when it was written, I wasn't even born. My grand-grandparents were not even born. But by faith we believe and we read and we say, this is it. And don't forget the truth will set us free. The question is, is Jesus God? Is he? We read in the first video, Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, it says, in the, uh, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. That's what we said. And that's what the Bible says. Also we read in the first video, uh, it says John 1 verse 1. So don't forget John 1 and Genesis 1. So simple to remember. 1 and 1. It says here, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's what the Bible says in John 1 verse 1. And in the earlier video, we say John was born as a forerunner, somebody who is running ahead of Jesus Christ. He was telling about him, like prophesizing this thing will happen. But the people who came to him, they asked him. The Pharisees, they came to him, they said, Are you the Messiah? They are asking him. Um, I'm, I'm reading from John 1 verse 20. And he confessed and denied not, I am not the Christ. That's what John said. He says, I am the voice of the one crying out in the wilderness. Crying out, foretelling. And then the people, they still quizzed him. They said, who are you then? Are you the Elias? Which prophet are you? And verse 29 of John 1 the next day John sees Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world. John had a vision. John was guided by God and he realized this is from God. Same like you, you can know when somebody is saying the truth about God or not. In other words, you just have to listen. Sometimes, take some notes. Don't just say, no, that's a lie, and start to fight with anybody. No. Because most of the people, sometimes, they just talk. But they don't show you. But I'm here, of course, to talk, and also to show you. That's why I'm opening the Bible. What are we saying? That's why we must search the scriptures. Don't think we'll find him in the scriptures. He already is there. He actually himself, he actually presented himself. But because we don't know the word of God, that's why we err. That's why we have problems. But we have to read ourselves. Take time to be with God and pray about it. Because in the word, there is power. So make use of the power and God will guide you. God doesn't want you to die and die a condemned death whereby you will never be resurrected. He wants everybody to be resurrected because God is so very good. Yes, I'll read to you now. We read John 1 verse 1 and we also read Genesis 1 verse 1. This time, let's go to another one. Hebrews. Take your Bible. The book of Hebrews 1. You guessed it right. Also verse 1. So if you forget everything else, just go on to Genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning. God created. And then John 1 verse 1. Of course, there was a word and the word became uh, a person who was Jesus Christ as, Genesis, as John 1 says. But then also here in the book of Hebrews 1 also verse 1, as you guessed it. Let's read it together. It says here, God, 
at sundry times or different times and in diverse manners or in different manners he spoke uh, in the past uh, through the fathers by the prophets so God he spoke in the past through to his prophets through other people that's what it says verse 2 says here has in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the words so it's very clear here Hebrews 1 verse 1 God at different times in the past spoke to people through the prophets but this time the Bible is clear nothing to hide it's not missing anything at all in these times he has spoken to us by his son who is his son his son is Jesus Christ the one who was the word at the beginning and then he became flesh in the book of uh, in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 but the people his own people denied him the Jews was born in a Jewish, Jewish family his own people denied him but then something happened you know do you know that Jesus Christ when you meet him your life ever changes there was a person in the Bible in the book of Acts chapter 9 it's a clear story there his name was Saul he was so much against the people who believed the word he was actually planning to take them down and finish them all wanted to kill everybody who believed in the word yes in the book of uh, uh, in the book of um, Acts chapter 9 let's read it together because then if we read together as I said many times in the past then we know the truth and the truth will set us free and so that's um, Acts 9 verse 1 and so yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter among the disciples of the Lord he went into the high priest so was a killer he was saying oh these people I hate the Christians which happens also even now I hate these people who believe in God and then he went he was breathing fire he says I'll kill them and I'll kill them and he went to the high priest beg he says give me permission in order to say he can do it and of course what happened is he was on the way on his way he was going I said I'm gonna kill these people he was given the order but then verse 4 I'll read it to you it says um, and as he journeyed uh, he heard a voice first of all he was struck with a, a light from heaven that's verse 3 uh, as he was going about um, suddenly there shone around him a light from heaven he was going to kill the people and verse 4 it says and he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying unto him so so why are you persecuting me so he asked as he was on the ground he says who are you Lord and the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. That's what it is. If you persecute people of Jesus, he hears it and he sees it and he will follow you and he will stop you. Because he hears and he sees. And what happened with Saul is that after he was struck down by a light, he lie there and Jesus talked to him don't persecute my people and as he talked of course um, he, he said okay go out now and go into the city where you're going and then there I'll tell you what to do that's what he said Jesus Christ he told him but when he stood up to go he was blinded by the light 
and he says, oh, he can't walk. So there were people there who held him, holding by his hand, and he went and walked into the city. And uh, as he was in the city, of course, he was God himself. He actually talked to one of the prophets, Ananias, and he says, go to this house, and you find this person, his name is Saul, and talk to him, and you help him out, because he has got, he's blind. He actually stayed three days, he was blind, and in the three days he did not eat, and he did not drink, thinking what's happening. So Jesus Christ was changing him. The question is, is Jesus God? He was changing him. And of course, at the end of the day, he said, now you, so I'll change your name. Your name will now become another name. You become Paul and you will work for me. That's what Jesus said. So you can be against Jesus, but Jesus has got his own ways of making people to work for him. Yes, read by yourself and understand. It's a very nice story here. Verse 5 it says, Who are you, Lord? That's what Saul said, because he heard a voice. He didn't see anything, because he was blinded by that light from heaven. So God sees. Is Jesus God? Let's answer that question. In the next video, we'll talk about Jesus, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It's written in the Bible. Get ready with your Bibles.